G'day, welcome to Chasing 40, week four. If you're new here in this video, I like to share my training week as I work towards a sub 40 10K, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. This week will be a little bit different because a couple of weeks ago, a subscriber asked in the comments for me to share my shoe choices. So there'll be a bit of shoe chat in this video. With all that out of the way, let's throw to Monday. G'day. Tuesday night. I don't know if you can even see me. Kids were painful this morning. So, no run this morning. Gotta wait till tonight. Finally out. In the ASICS magic speed. The theme of this week is shoe chat. Doing most of my speed work in these at the moment. They're also my race shoe. The reason I'm doing all my speed work in these is because I did buy a pair of New Balance Prisms and the glue on the sole has started to come unstuck, so they're no good to me. So there's my speed work shoe. Tonight's workout, 10 minute warm up, 20 minute threshold, 10 minute cool down. Almost done the warm up, ready to roll. Probably won't feel much more because it's so dark. Okay, that's the run done. 8.3 Ks at 450 pace. I hope you can see me. I'll put the stats on screen. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had a lot to say, but I'm standing under a street light out the front of a random house. So, might chat to you in the morning. Yeah, sounds good. See you tomorrow. G'day. Wednesday morning, I think. Having trouble remembering what day it is today. How's that sunrise for a minute? I know you can't see me, which is probably a good thing. But yeah, that sunrise is wonderful. Uh, I don't wait till I get a little bit more light and talk to you about how yesterday's run went. All right, see you soon. So shoot out for this morning. Um, in the Infinity Reacts because they're my favourite recovery shoe. They just work wonders for me. A lot of people love the Invincibles because they're soft and squishy. I'm a bit heavier, so I put those things on and I hit the floor in them and my feet really just don't hit the ground well. So these things, the React Foam, a little bit denser, a little bit more structure to it and what I find is that I can't run fast in this shoe I don't want to run fast in this shoe the legs just tick over at a really nice consistent easy pace and I get home from the run feeling good about it okay run done 7.8 k's at 5.45s Pure recovery today, nice and easy. The legs already, they feel so much better than they did when I woke up this morning. <sighs> Feels good. Um, that's why I love these shoes. I, I might have talked about them a little bit. They're my favorite pair because they just fit a purpose beautifully. Anyway, um, that's around done. Yesterday's run, 20 minute threshold. I'd be lying if I, if I didn't say I was concerned. And, and it's me being overly neurotic and worrying too much and getting too in my head about it. But like, I ran 20 minutes at 4.13 pace. And, and I was spent, my legs, my legs tired, I'm, you know, aerobically I was pretty cooked. So yeah, it, it worries me a lot when I've got to run 10 Ks faster than that so I, I am concerned I know I've got to trust the process and trust the work that I'm putting in and I hope that I can get there in the end but yeah yeah a little nervous already anyway 5k to look forward to on Saturday and that'll be a better test to see where I'm at so easy running between now and then and yeah 
5k Saturday morning. Right. It's me done for the day. Wednesday finished. On to work now. See you tomorrow. Bye. G'day, Thursday, no group run today because uh, it's a rest week and I'm saving that for Saturday where I'm going to do a 5k time trial. Um, shoot chat in the New Balance 1080 V12s. These are my workhorse, these are my go to daily trainer. Do most of my Ks in these. This is my second pair. Um, I use these because they're sort of a bit of a good middle ground. Good grip, decent stack height because I'm always running on concrete. And uh, yeah, just a bit of durability too. So yeah, that's shoot chat. Um, tough day today. Kids are up early. So I've managed to find half an hour where it's not absolutely bucketing down to get a run in. Um, it'll just be short, short and sharp. Guys, I gotta get home and feed the kids. Yeah, 30 minutes, easy. We'll see how it finishes up at the end. All right, see you soon. Bye. Thursday run down, five and a half Ks, 521 pace. In the books, did not feel great. But you know, who cares really? It's done. Take it off. Back out here again tomorrow. Bye. Friday run done. I don't know how much of me you can see because it is very, very dark out here. Um, yeah, raining still. A lot of rain around. Under the 8.09 Ks at 5.24s. Nothing special. Right foot went numb. Hang on, dog's twisted me around. Right foot went numb uh, just towards the end of that run, so something to keep an eye on. I haven't really had that before. I just, yeah, a couple of steps, it just all of a sudden went numb, pins and needles, and then came back again. I don't know. Oh, 5K time trial tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Good morning. It's Sunday. Things haven't gone to plan this week. It's um, on Thursday, the young fella brought home some sort of daycare superbug, and I've been out for the weekend ever since. No time trial. No long run. Hopefully I can get the energy to get this video edited today and talk about where I'm going next week. I'll talk to you soon. And so that's week four done. In terms of what am I proud of, well, there's not much to be proud of this week. Unfortunately, those of you with, watching with kids know that, that these sort of weeks are the sort of thing weeks that you just need to get through. I'm starting to feel a lot better. It's been about seven or eight hours since I filmed that bit this morning and I'm feeling a lot better. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll be back in the shape where I'll be able to run 29k per week, but that doesn't matter. Like this is probably the best possible week this sort of illness could happen to me. It's a down week. Hopefully I'm ready to reload back into next week. I'm disappointed mostly that I missed out on doing the 5k. I was really, really looking forward to it. I've really tried to set my mind to racing and putting myself to the test to race more often this year and one of those things was to do a 5k once every month I really just wanted to have a go and see where I was at I've lost a little bit of weight over the last few weeks I'm now sitting just under the 87 kilo mark I've nailed a lot of my training in the last couple of weeks and I just wanted to see have I improved I wasn't expecting to have made huge leaps and bounds but I just wanted to improve by even just a little bit it would have been silly to go out and try anyway before moving on to what's coming in the next few weeks 
let's talk about shoes. As shared in the video, I shared three of my four shoes in my shoe rotation. They are my recovery shoe, my daily trainer, my speed shoe, and the one that I didn't get to show you, my long run shoe. Favorite shoe is the recovery shoe. I love this one because it just does what I want it to do. It slows me right down. Um, it's a big chunky thing. It makes those recovery runs so much easier and so much nicer. Anyway, the long round shoe. This is a New Balance Fuel Cell TC. I bought this shoe because it was on special like all the other ones that I buy. Um, I buy them old and on special. The reason why I bought this one was for that long run so that I could put a little bit more pace and then inject a little bit more effort into my long runs. So, and I absolutely love this thing. I find that it's super, super squishy. And what I have found, I've done, I think, four or five long runs in this thing. And what I find is that I'm finishing the long run in absolute comfort where previously when I got to 15, 16, 17 Ks, my feet would really start hurting and I'd feel like I was really whacking into the ground in these things. I just feel like I've still got a spring in my step. I can still turn the legs over. They're a sensational shoe. I'll be really interested if later in the year when I go to do a half marathon. I may choose these shoes just because they feel so much better after 15Ks. That shoe chat done. If you've got any other questions about my shoes or anything like that, please leave them down in the comments. Or if you want to hear something specific, please drop a comment below because give me the idea, I'll make the video. Moving forward, this week was meant to be a rest week before we launched into the next three week phase of training. This next three week phase is all about preparation. So it's bridging from the build phase where is mostly about building Ks and then the prep phase is where we're preparing to move into speed work. So I'm preparing my body to do the sorts of workouts that I wanna do in that peak phase and I'm doing more specific work. How I'm approaching this prep phase, I'm not changing the pace of my runs at all, but I'm just changing the types of workouts that I'm gonna do. I'll throw a slide up on screen, weeks five and six, the structure isn't changing much. Easy run every day, 45 minutes. Long run on Sunday. Thursday is my group run, which is a 7K progressive run with a 3K uh, stint. And I'll keep that at threshold pace, that 3K effort at the end. The main change that's occurring, rather than just a standard threshold workout on the Tuesday, more of a K rep workout at threshold pace. This Tuesday, aiming for six by 1K. Now, obviously with the illness, I'll just see how that goes. The following week, upping that to eight by a K. Um, again at 410 pace with the idea being in the next phase, in the peak phase, that we're trying to do that same workout at a higher intensity, which is hopefully gonna be the 10K pace. Anyway, that's it for me. Next week, uh, I am racing next Sunday. There is a local race, Copolo Cup. It's up the mountain. It's a 16K race, but I'll do it at long run effort. So that'll be my long run. Just wanna enter the local race and support the local group. Thanks for watching. Like I say, if you've got any questions, please leave them down below. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.